How to submit your cars to Beckett for grading. Today I'm going to go over all the steps that you're going to need to know how to submit your cars to Beckett so that you can protect your investment and make an upgrade to your investments so that you can profit more by getting the right grades from the right professionals at Beckett Grading Services known as BGS. So let's get to it. These are the things that you will need to make a successful submission to Beckett. First one, you're gonna need penny sleeves. You will need a lot of penny sleeves to protect your grading. You will also need what's called a card saver. Um, these are clear card protectors that you're gonna put these in, the cards into these after you do the penny sleeves. You will need a, a computer or a laptop. You will need some rubber bands. You will need some cardboards. You will need a box, box for shipping. And you will need some protective shipping bubbles. And you will need a cloth to wipe down your cards. So, <clears throat> first of all, you gotta get the cards that you want to send to grading, okay? Once you know what you want to send to grading, you want to check your cards out, okay? Because you don't want to submit all the cards that you have just because you feel that you deserve to get your cards graded or you feel that every card that you have should be a 10 or 9.5 right because it's yours it doesn't work that way life doesn't give you exactly what you want you have to work for it and then you have to earn it okay so same thing with cards you have to look through all these cards so first is you go through all your stacks and you obviously um, put aside what I do is put aside the cards that I feel that I should uh, it's worth the grading because it costs money to send in for grading. So, once you have that, once you have that, what, what you also want to do is, say for example, this card I have here in front of me, Tua, no huddle variation, rookie card. So, you, you want to check out the card, okay? The centering is important. So, you can look at both sides, left and right, top to bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect center, but the more center it is, the better off it is. And the edges, right? How they are in the edges, and then the corners. If they have any damages or any dents, it is not good. And then you'll want to check out your service. So it's hard to look at it from the computer, but you want to look at it from different angles. Make sure to see how many nicks or scratches or print lines that you can find. Um, obviously minor ones are okay. It's, if you have any minor ones, if you get 10, you'll be very, very lucky. You're more than likely gonna get 9.5 or a nine. And, and that's still okay to send in. But if there's a lot of dents or scratches or nicks or print lines, then you might wanna consider not sending it in because it might not be worth the money that you're going to be spending, okay? So once you do that, um, always, what I you get in the habit of, get lots of penny sleeves. If you took it out of this penny sleeve, do not use this penny sleeve again, okay? You always wanna have a stack of penny sleeves, nice and clean ones, and what you wanna do is you wanna put, always put the car back in a brand new penny sleeve, okay? Because any little, uh, you know, cardboard specks or dots or any dust that gets on there, you understand, these grading companies, they do not clean the card for you. Okay. I've seen cards that come back with graded and there is dust inside the casing or there's even a little, you know, specks of cardboards and all kinds of stuff. So you want it to be as clean as possible. You also want to wipe down your cards. Okay. So on when you, uh, so when you're ready, you obviously want to put it in the card saver that I showed you. 
put it in there like that. After the penny sleeve, you put it to the side, okay? Uh, wiping down cloth, you always want to have a, have a cloth here. You always, uh, I, would, I would use a cloth that you use for glasses, okay? You can go to a uh, optometrist or Costco and ask for one of these and it's perfect for wiping down cards. You can, you know, have a card here and you know you can get any dust off it won't scratch it and if there's something little extra in there you can also rub it here you don't want to have any fingerprints okay you want to send in and clean as card possible okay so after you're wiping down you always want to put it back in the penny sleeve and put it in the card saver if you're going to send that card off to grading okay so I'm going to show you a couple examples right now. Okay, I have this card, Joe Burrow, Lamella Ball, Rookie, and Lamella Ball, Rookie. So these are all in the card saver with the penny sleeves ready to go, for example. Okay, now, now you get into the Beckett website. Okay, if you don't have a Beckett account, it's highly recommended that you make one. You're gonna need to make one to submit, okay? And then, what you'll do, and I'll walk you through this, <clears throat> okay? You wanna, you wanna make an account and log in, okay? So, you can see my name right here, Tiger Kim. I, I'm logged in already, okay? And then, when you get to this page, go to Grade Cards, okay? Grade Cards right here. You click on the grade cards, and good thing about Beckett right now, they'll give you a timeline right here. Click here for estimated turnaround times. So Beckett has four different types of submissions, okay? There's economy, standard, express, and premium, okay? So you can see like express is approximately 15 plus business days. 15 plus business days does not mean that it is one day after two weeks since you send it. It takes time for you to send the package, takes time for them to receive it and check it in and then time ticks business days is Monday through Friday guys so 15 days means it's three week plus okay so set yourself for that because a lot of people think 15 days 15 days where are my cards you're you're not doing yourself a favor okay nine plus months set yourself up for 10 months okay standard so obviously the quicker it is the more expensive it will be, and I will go over that with you, okay? So they give you that timeline, and then right under B, underneath this is click here for current grading submission form. So when you click on that, you can download the form and handwrite it in. I recommend doing it online because we're in 2021, and if you have to handwrite stuff in, uh, uh, you better adapt to the world because it's changing okay so right here online grading form you click here it'll take you to their submission site okay so here we are right here so right here this is step one it just they just walk you right through it you want to select obviously ours is non-gaming so you click on that and then shipping method this shipping method for Beckett is when the great cars are graded and done, what it, what, how they're going to ship the cars back to you, okay? This is not how you're going to ship to them. This is when your cars are done, what, how they're going to ship the cars back to you. So, obviously, they got to use FedEx. The soon, the faster it is, more expensive, okay? So, I usually like to do two days. So, FedEx two day delivery. You can think about the declared value uh, is, is for insurance purposes. That's what it is. Okay, so the higher it is, the more expensive shipping is going to be that is coming back to you. Okay, so because Beckett wants to insure everything when they send it back so that in case something goes wrong, there's insurance coverage. So let's just say that um, if these cars, when, after these cars got graded, who knows what they'll be, but. Um, you know, I'll just say they are $200 each, okay? It, it could be more, 
I'm just trying to be on the lower side so that I don't have to pay extra for insurance. So let's just say $800, okay. And then now here is the service term. Which service do I want, okay. Now, you can see from Beckett, they have subgrades. Subgrades are these four categories of centering, edge, corners, and surface, okay. I would always do a sub ones with the subgrade. Now you can do no subgrades for cheap to save you a little bit less. It's a little cheaper, but I would not. That is not worth uh, savings in my opinion. Okay. So and then you can also get details on what you what your cards are really graded at. You know. So if you ever need like one more bump to move up to, like like for this one for example, Zion is a nine. I got nine, two nines, and two nine five. So this right here, if I get a one more centering is a nine point five or edge is nine point five, this card can become a nine point five, which is a big boost from a nine. Okay. So you can always resubmit cards that you already graded too. So it is good to have that. So um, don't never do no sub grading. That's your opinion though. So let's just say that we decide to do Express. So you're gonna click on Express here. Don't worry about the shipping account number and promotional codes because we don't have any and we don't have that, okay? Then you go down here and click, click on the Submit. So you're gonna click on Submit. It'll take you to step number two, okay? When you get to step number two, you are going to input stuff so that hopefully your cards come up. So first one here is going to be football and make sure you stay in order okay organizations and steps is very very important this is how uh, Beckett or PSA or any grading company likes it because they don't want to be searching for your stuff okay so we're going to do prism no huddle and see what happens player name is Tua Tago Vailoa and we're going to search so when you search this one, we should have there should be a lot more than just one card that pops up. So you can see this is all the list of the cards that came up. So we are going to look for, I think I found it already, but okay, no huddle prism, no huddle blue, right? You can see neon green, no huddle pink. This one is a prism rookie variation, no huddle. Okay, so number, no that's not right, number two. So we're gonna look for number three. So these are autographs, so it's not an autograph. Oh, let me see here. Prism, no hold on, purple. This is red, pink. It should be variation, but I can't find it. So we'll do this. And you're gonna come here and check this box. Check that box. It'll automatically put one there. If you have more than one, you want to change it. And then right above it, there's add item. So you click on that, it'll add the card. Okay. So now, one card has been added. I'm going to put this to the side right here, upside down. So I know that this is the very first one. Okay. Now, next one. Next one is here. This one is football. This is optic. Joe Burrow. It's already in here from my previous submissions. And obviously, this one is a green laser rated rookie. We can see that we can hopefully we can find it. Sometimes you can narrow down by clicking on like green, so that not you know. Hundreds of cards pop up. So right here, Joe Burrow Velocity 151. This card number is 151. Joe Burrow, our army rated rookie. When I click on this, it shows one. Now, if this card had an autograph, you would click right here. Okay, is this card a autograph? You need to put yes or no. Okay, so it's a no, add item, and put it to the side, okay? 
If you have any questions, you can always rewind it back, you can pause this video, or you can always send me a message on Instagram too, I'd be glad to help you out. So for two cards, for that premium express grading right now, we're at 352. Okay, the total amount is not just for the grading, it's for shipping and insurance as well. Okay, and the next one here, we're gonna do basketball, we'll do this prism and lamello ball search now watch I have two of these okay two of the exact identical cards number 278 so what I'm gonna do is when I find it right here Panini Prism 278 Lamello Ball rookie card I'm gonna click on here it's gonna show one so I'm gonna go over here and make it a two and add items so then these two will go like this everything is in order number one two and three and four okay so right now the total is at 652 okay so let's go check it out we can go back we're on step number two we can go back to step number one you go to step number one it's because it express right so if I change this to standard standard grading you can go update here for four cards it will update the total. So see how the total went dramatically down to 252, okay? One thing about Beckett is that they do not grade or charge you based on what the cards are worth after they're graded, okay? PSA has their limit on how much a card is worth and what, uh, what grading level that you have to submit to or how much they are. And if they catch it, sometimes that oh, this car is a $100,000 car, they will charge you more to grade that car. Beckett doesn't have that. It just takes longer to grade. So on these four cars, say that you wanna do the 252 instead. And then we're done. So we, it's, it's one, two, three, remember that. But number three has two cards. So it's a total of, of four cards. Once you're done, you can go to enter payment details, okay? Once you get here, you can see what the, what it is. Right here, grading is $20. So basically it's $50 each to get these cards graded at the premium level. Shipping is $40 because I'm doing the two day FedEx uh, delivery and insurance on the $800 is $12, okay? And then you wanna, you wanna put in your payment type, everything and make payment go through the process. Once you get to the next page, okay, you will get a printout of your submissions, okay? Sign every page and sign on the last page, okay? Beckett will charge you once they receive your grading packet. They charge ahead of time. They will charge you once they receive it and they check your product in to their facility and then it will go to whichever grading uh, submission department and it will sit there until it moves up the chain to get your cars graded. Beckett does charge ahead of time so make sure it's not like PSA. PSA will charge you once they are done with the grading and then once you pay, once your charge goes through, they will show you the grading. Beckett doesn't wait. They charge you ahead of time and they will show you once it's graded and done right away so they don't have to wait for that. But they do charge ahead of time okay now once you have these once you have that paperwork and you sign it I always take a picture of it so I can have records from my phone okay how you gonna package this is you gotta put it all together make sure they are in order get some cardboard box here like this okay and you want to make sure that it will cover the cards okay once you have that get some rubber band and you want to tie it up so that it does not move around during shipping and then put cardboard around it and then you want to tie it up more so now this is pretty much secure it's not going anywhere okay <clears throat> Then what you want to do for shipping is you get a box, 
if you have a box and you want to wrap this, you want to wrap the cards in a protective bubble. Okay, however you want to ship it and protect it, just make it so that it does not move around. Okay, just don't let it move around. I would actually tape it up and do more to it. This is just a demonstration. Okay, once you have everything in here, you can put bubbles in, you can put whatever protective stuff that you need to put it in here. And then when you sign the forms, make sure you sign it and put the forms in here as well. So then you want to get some tape, tape it up, put the label or address or shipping, whichever one you want to do, priority or regular, it doesn't matter. And then you want to ship this off, okay? What also you want to do is you want to put the grading level, whatever the grading level is, right on the box. Also, right on the box here, okay, whatever the grading level is, you can put, say that you said this standard, Standard, put a little arrow up here, and then push top, okay? You wanna do that for all the sections. Doesn't hurt to have more notes. You can put standard on the bottom, and then put bottom, okay? So that when they receive it, they know which is top, which is the bottom. You can put the top up here as well. And then once it goes through, you can always check, you can download Beckett's app and see what the status is or sometimes you don't see a status. Even though you, they received your shipping and you got the tracking number, sometimes you don't see it because they haven't checked it in yet, even though they got the package. So uh, you just gotta be patient. And when you, when you see, see the notification or email one day that it has popped and they're going through the grading, you will be very excited and happy. So be a little patient. There's a lot of cards that they're going through, all these grading companies, and um, you, you just you just gotta wait. Just wait and you will have a successful grading results. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up, DM me on Instagram, and I will be happy to respond back. I actually do respond back to every every message that I receive from all you guys so uh, that is the best way to get hold of me and uh, follow me on Instagram but um, if you're new hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell give me a thumbs up so that this video will be on more search pages and that you can help me out grow our page and grow this video hope you guys enjoyed it thank you very much for watching to the end and um, best of luck to you on your cards and the future gradings and your investments We'll see you next time. Peace out.